name is Laura Pizzorno. I'm the author of Your Bones, and I'm here to share with you information that I hope will help you to have healthier bones. In the last video, we discussed the fact that calcium alone, or calcium plus vitamin D, has only been shown to slow the rate of bone loss, not to enable us to build more bone than we lose after menopause. So the question arises, is there any calcium-containing supplement that's ever been shown to help us actually build more bone than we lose? And the answer to that is yes, there is one, um, only one, and it's called AlgaCal. There are three research papers published in the peer-reviewed medical literature on PubMed that confirm this. You know, I continually read the breaking research published on PubMed uh, related to bone health. And in my normal review of the literature, I came across these studies. And they're the reason that I personally began taking AlgaCal several years ago. It's made a significant contribution to my completely regaining the full health of my bones. And these studies make it easy to understand both how and why. So let's talk about the first of these studies now. The first study conducted to look at AlgaCal's effect on bone was an in vitro, which means a laboratory study in which human osteoblast cells, uh, these are the cells that build new bone, were treated with either AlgaCal, calcium citrate, or calcium carbonate, and then each of these three pairings was also um, either given vitamin D3 or not. The, it's important that they studied osteoblast cells because these cells play a pivotal role in bone metabolism. Osteoblasts are responsible for the synthesis of the bo bone matrix, for bone mineralization, and for the synthesis of bone growth factors. And they also help to actually regulate when osteoclasts are formed and spring into action. So osteoblasts actually help to control bone resorption. In this study, in the, in the lab study, after just four days, the osteoblasts that had been treated with AlgaCal were found to have produced much greater amounts of an enzyme called alkaline phosphatase compared to the cells that had been treated with either calcium carbonate or calcium citrate, whether or not they got vitamin D. And this is really significant because alkaline phosphatase is a classical biomarker of osteoblast cell differentiation, in other words, the production of new osteoblasts. And alkaline phosphatase plays a key role in how osteoblasts mineralize bone. So high alkaline phosphatase activity is actually required in the early stages of the extracellular matrix mineralization process. And in this study, um, alkaline phosphatase activity was greatly increased when osteoblasts were treated with AlgaCal compared to either calcium carbonate or calcium citrate. In fact, AlgaCal increased alkaline phosphatase activity by 400%. Calcium carbonate also increased it by about half as much, 200% and calcium citrate also by about half as much, 250%. What else happened? Well, in the AlgaCal treated cells, levels of proliferating cell nuclear antigen, uh, it's called PCNA for short, um, which is a protein involved in DNA synthesis and repair, uh, were much greater in the cells treated with AlgaCal. They were threefold greater um, than calcium carbonate and fourfold greater than those treated with calcium citrate. And the end result of this was that more calcium was deposited in the AlgaCal treated cells, twofold more than controls, 100% more than calcium carbonate, and 400% more than calcium citrate treated cells. When vitamin D3 was also added to the treated osteoblasts, the results that were got, got, re received with treatment with AlgaCal were even better. In addition, AlgaCal was found to significantly reduce oxidative stress which is what happens when cells are exposed to free radicals um, in the osteoblasts after just 24 hours. you remember that oxidative stress promotes inflammation, which then triggers osteoclasts, the specialized cells that break down bone, to spring into action. AlgaCal reduced oxidative stress in human osteoblasts by 400% compared to controls, 200% compared to calcium carbonate, and 250% compared to calcium citrate did a much better job. These were very promising results, and they led to two human studies using AlgaCal, which we will cover in our next video. Thanks for tuning in.